now, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the height of the afternoon. I'm going to talk about my good friend, Thomas Fats Waller, and your good friend, all who knew him. He was born under the sign Gemini, which is June. Very lovable, great big eyes, big frame, good nature, would give his heart and his soul. First time I met Thomas Fats Waller, it's right after I came back from the army. Incidentally, I was in 350 field artillery, 92nd Division, Depot Brigade, 153rd. 1917, fought alongside the French Blue Devils. Coming back to New York, there was a place called Leroy's, Wilkins, 135th Street and 5th Avenue, internationally known cafe. I left the kid on my job who could only play in three keys. Naturally, he thought he had the job tied down. But when I got back, I found out yours truly, Thomas Fats Waller, was working there. <laughs> so naturally, I walked in one night with James P. He said, I want you to hear Filthy play the piano. I said, who you mean, Filthy? Fats. He said, you know Fats. I said, oh, certainly. He said, Lion, he can play. He said, I want you to hear him play the Carolina Shout, which was written by James P. I went in and listened to him play. After I heard him, I shook my head. I said, watch out, Jimmy, he's got it. As true as I'm sitting on this piano stool. So he sat down and played for me for about an hour. That night, I let him sit in with the band. Not that the band was so enthused, they wanted him to play alone. He was a humorist. He could crack jokes, make you laugh at any time. But a funny thing, don't let nobody kid you. He had a famous drink he used to drink called Salt Term. That's when he couldn't get the rest. We had a monopoly on the house rent parties, Thomas Fats Waller, James P. and myself. So after hearing him play that afternoon Leroy's, I decided he would join the big three. Every time a house rent party was ran in New York, we called it Sugar Hill. Because where I live, they call it down in the alley. They used to charge one dollar admission. Pig's feet, fried chicken, Mashed potatoes. Next room would be a card game. Next room a dice game. That went all night. So getting back to Fats, 1929, first tune he had published was Ain't Misbehaving, the hit. He wrote it with Andy Razoff, another one of my good friends, and Harry Brooks, fine pianist was with Shuffle Along. So anyhow, getting back to Fats, I'll give you a rendition of how he did Ain't Misbehaving.
you got a habit of saying, I'll tell you when. Vamp till ready. No one to talk with, boy, I'm all by myself. No one to walk with, folks, I'm happy that I'm on the shelf. Ain't misbehaving, I'm saving all my love for you. And I do mean you, you. I know for Satan the one that I love I'm through with flighting Just you I'm thinking of But I ain't misbehaving Mama, I'm saving all my love for you Like Jack Horner in the corner He don't go nowhere But what do I care? Oh, he got Mama your kisses, those kisses, baby, are really worthwhile waiting for. Please believe me, believe me. I don't stay out late, there's usually no place to go. But you can dig me home about eight. Just jiving, kibitzin' with that radio. It's useless, but I ain't misbehaving. Folks, I've been saving all my love for you. Yes, yes, yes. Misbehaving, babe, saving all my love for. <laughs> number entitled T for Two from the musical comedy No No Nanette. The last 25 years I heard T for Two played, well I would say very simple. So I decided in 1929 while I was working in Parts and Jerry's across the nest 135th Street and also 133rd Street, that I would beautify T for two. In fact, they all used to come up there and listen to me play in the mornings. Guys like Howard Dietz, George Raff. Uh, what's his name? Uh, William Powell. Texas Guinan, whom I worked for later. I had 12 singing waiters, plus four girls on the floor. Each one had to sing, play, talk, and dance. So if a person all night, they might give you a dollar, maybe 50 cents, maybe thank you. I sat at the piano. Never start to play till around 12 o'clock. Everybody thought I was just hired there as an ordinary penis, but I got 20% of the place. It's called Pods and Jerry's. And 
I got 50% of everything that the girls made in the waiters on the floor and kept what I made for myself. So, you know, I had a nice bundle from 9 till 12 the next day sometimes. In the old days, they had a habit when the girls used to sing. This Roberta, who sings now on the records, this lady, she reminds me of those using a handkerchief. A man would hand them a $10 bill. They throw up their hand like this, smother the handkerchief, put the 10 in the, in the waist pocket, and show you a $1 bill. I decided to get looking glasses put all around the place with the cooperation of the boss. So every time one of them passed the $1 bill, I had the waiters, they'd say, Lion, they put up the finger, $1. For being so loyal, I give each waiter a buck out of five. very common for me to play a course of night and day for two hours. Funny thing, Johnny Green came up one night, Body and Soul was written in D flat. I had 12 entertainers. After 10 o'clock they got hoarse, so we called them whiskey tenors. That made me play Body and Soul in every key on the piano. That's where the arrangers got the idea of transposing and lots of more ideas. So getting back to my story about T for two, I played it so much in one key, I decided to redress it. And this is how I did it. I should like to play the voice for you. Dressing. apartments. Next floor. Here we go. She said she don't like this floor. Oh, <laughs> 
I started, but this time's a different view. Each time I go deeper and deeper. Way back as far as you can talk. This time I'm talking about the, that fabulous Scott Joplin. He's the writer of the Maple Leaf Rag, one of the many things that he wrote. His wife's name was Lottie Joplin. Had she lived, she would have been about, I guess, 82 years old. Very spry. Lived at 212 West 138th Street, had the whole house. It was a common occurrence to step in there at 6 o'clock in the morning, see guys like Art Tatum, Thomas Fats Waller, Willie the Lion, James P. Johnson, U.B. Blake, oh, and numerous others, Wilbur Sweatman, all night I can talk about him, Valeda Snow, Jackie Mabley, they all owe job room rent yet. Bless our heart. Getting back to the Maple Leaf. The people call the era we're playing in today, they call it swing, modern, bop. We call it gut bucket, in the alley, the latest rendition, ragtime. I'll never forget when I was a kid, I used to dance, play the piano. My mother used to say, get hot. Oh, let's rag it, son. So you see, ragtime is a happy medium. You take the Baptist people in the churches, they call them shouts. Anytime you hear shout, it'll make you dance. So getting back to Scott Joplin, he wrote the Maple Leaf Rag in A-flat. Written, written very simple. Everybody played it in A-flat. I'm going to play it in A-flat after I tell you about the music he had stored away. Before Miss Joplin died, I was down in the cellar. And I'll bet she had about a whole cellar full of manuscripts. Modern things by Scott Joplin. You'd be surprised, classical things. Operatic strains. So you see, and speaking of jazz, never play a jazz musician cheap, because usually the good ones, they all studied classics. Most of them today are digging in the operas. That goes for me too. So I'd like to play you a couple of strains of this Maple Leaf rag. Give you an idea. I'll play it like I play it now. Then I'll play it like Mr. Joplin wrote it. In other words, they say, reduce it to its lowest common den denominator, right? From the sublime to the ridiculous. Let's get with it.
Good deal. So in those days, the boys always had a powerful voice. You never sang just a cause. You had to always have a powerful voice. The publishers will tell you now. The voice is good as the cause. Sometimes. But these were all good. So it was entitled Weights and Music by Shelton Brooks. Dark Town Strutter's Ball. I got some good news, honey. An invitation to a dark town ball. And all the very swell affair. And all the real swells, baby, will be there. I'm going to wear my high silk hat and frock tail coat, babe. Better wear your Paris gown and all your new silk shawl. There'll be no doubt about it, baby. And you and I, mama, will be the best dressed couple in the hall. What a beef. I'll be down to get you in a taxi, honey. Better be ready about half past eight. Now, dearie, don't you dare to be late. We got to be there, son, when the band starts tooting. Now, remember when you get there, honey. Two steps, we're gonna have them all. I got to dance away those shoes. Great God, where they played old Jelly Road Blue. I said tomorrow night at the Darktown Strutters Ball. Yes, yeah. Tomorrow night at the Darktown Strutters Ball. You got it, line. <laughs> Better be ready about half past eight. Oh, baby, don't you dare to be late. We got to be there, son, when the band starts tooting. Now remember when you get there, pretty brown skin. Remember, honey, two steps, can't check them all. Dance away those shoes, babe, when they play those jelly roll blues. I said tomorrow night at the Dark Town Strutters Ball. Down to get you in a taxi, honey. Better be ready about half past eight. Oh, Papa, don't you dare to be late. We got to be there, son, when the band starts tooting. Now remember when you get there, honey. Two steps, we're gonna have them all. We're gonna dance away, though. When they play those jelly roll blue. I said tomorrow night at the Dark Town Strutters. Yes, yes, tomorrow night at the Dark Town Strutters Ball. What am I saying? back to where I left off at. Got a little more reminiscing to do. Usually when a man talks, the spirit talks so fast, sometimes he forgets some things that he wants to put in. I'm talking about my good friend, Mr. W.C. Handy again. Incidentally, on his last birthday, my madam and I was up to his house at his birthday. The funny thing, he called about nine to 10 different tunes, all from 30 to 35 years back. I played the voice, the course to all of them. He could memorize the voice and the course and the lyrics. The team of Mr. Handy used to be Payson Handy. In fact, they came here all the way back in 1919. Him, Clance Williams, Spencer Williams, all that crew, Perry Bradford. In fact, myself at that time, there was a young lady I was used to sing the blues by the name of Mamie Smith. I took her down to make the first audition. From then on, I don't have to tell you what happened. So I'd like to give my rendition again, the close relationships with Mr. W.C. Handy, myself, James P. Johnson, Thomas Fats Waller, Inez Thurl, Jackie Mabley, all the great performers of the past and of the modern. Here we go.
those riffs. Uh, uh. Way down. Folks, I hate to see that evening sun go down. Folks, I said I hate to see that evening sun go down. Cause the man that I love, he's done left this town. In case I feel tomorrow just like I feel today. Feel tomorrow, boys, just like I feel today. I'm going to pack my grip and make my getaway. There was a St. Louis woman and her diamond ring. You know, she wore them around, around her apron strings. Now, if it wasn't for powder and that store bought hair. You know, that gal of mine, she wouldn't have gone nowhere, nowhere. I got a St. Louis blues, and I'm blue, blue, blue as I can be. Got a St. Louis blues, and I'm blue, blue, blue as I can be. I got a heart like a rock boy that's cast into the sea, yes, yeah. I'm gonna take my seat to the river, boy, and sit down. I'm gonna take my seat to the river, boy, and sit down. And if the blues overtakes me, I'll jump overboard and I'll drown. I got a St. Louis blues, I'm blue, blue, blue as I can be. Got a St. Louis blues, I'm blue, 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 blue as I can be. Got a heart like a rock that is cast into the sea. Yes, I got those seas. Get his head. I got to say. do something different. I'm gonna reminisce way back in a different era. You've heard of people that's written lots of dances. They've had different names, different titles, come from different cities. It was a dance we call a Charleston. It was written by my buddy James P. Johnson, whom we call the Brew. Also, Thomas Fats Wallow was my buddy. I named him Filthy. Yours truly, they call me Willie the Lion. Getting back to this dance, one morning we're standing on corner 135th Street in Lenox Avenue. Forty years ago in a place called the Terrain Restaurant. It's torn down now. There was a little guy, we call him Russell Brooks comes from Charleston. He had a team, a dance team. They call him the Sixth Tet, better known as the Charlestonians. Jimmy Johnson, myself, and Fats, we saw him dance. They used to dance in the streets for quarters and in the cafes at nights. Jimmy said, I think I'll write a dance for them, line, and we'll call it the Charleston. As a rule, Charlestonians, they call them Tar Heels. They come from South Carolina. They do a different kind of dance. 
The Geechees, they come from North Carolina, and they can dance a while. So here's how the voice went, written and composed by my buddy James P. Johnson. That left hand goes, that's the way they dance to Charleston.
Lots of dances written. Texas Tommy, Shim Sham Shimmy. Numerous other dances. Ah, but I had a friend who wrote the only dance. His name was Chris Smith. 1913. What was the title? Baldur Jack. Everybody give vent to their feelings. I should like to give you my conception. Oh, I'm going to do ball and jack later on. Folks in Georgia about to go insane since that new dance down in Georgia came. I'm the only person who's to blame, meaning me. I'm the party that introduced it then. So if you'll kindly give me credit, to know a thing or two, please, baby, give me credit for springing something new. I will show this little dance to you, meaning you, mama. When I do, you'll say that it's a bed. Cause first we put our two knees close up tight. Then we would sway to the left and usually sway to the right. We'd step around the floor, kind of nice and light. Then we'd twist around and twist around with all our might. We'd stretch those loving arms, meaning my gal and I, way out in space. We'd do the Eagle Rock with such style and so much grace. Swing your foot around, then you will usually swing it back. Cause that's what we call what the line calls falling the jack you've heard of the boogie woogie cut back a figure the blues this is called rock and roll with a real movement in the bass
back to that good old good, but I'm going to repeat this time. This will be a better take. They say Vamp to ready, talking about Fort Damity. Zigfield Roof, one of the great writers of all time. Good friend of mine, good friend of James. I'd like to play you the voice the course of That's Why They Call Me Shy. Here we go. Uh, 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 